Sea Friendly Reef. Today we are in this. Maybe this is not the best view. Let's go outside. I think this is one of the most beautiful cities we have here in Germany and the one and only question I have is what reef tanks do people have here? <laughs> to answer this question we visit friends of us with who I am being in contact on Instagram for some time. <laughs> I hear some birds! <laughs> Uh -huh. Who are you? <laughs> In this apartment there is a lot of life to discover. Like for example a disabled chameleon that can no longer shoot with its tongue. <laughs> um, okay and now? <laughs> After I gained its trust, let's take a look at the saltwater aquarium. Just like me, Fine and René are studying in Germany. And what most students in Germany have in common is little money. <laughs> but what do you do if you still want to have a big saltwater aquarium at home? The two had a pretty cool idea. They buy high priced corals, multiply them and then resell their frags. But does this principle work? How practical would it be to find a solution to let the whole hobby finance itself? There are several possibilities, for example some go through social media and are supported by certain companies when they show their products. Otherwise it gets pretty hard to generate some money from the hobby without selling anything. Fina and René tell me that if you only have one aquarium and sell individual frags here, that's only a worthwhile business if those corals are fetched high priced at the markets. So in their opinion it doesn't make any sense to sell a few small frags of corals that are not worth much. So they concentrate on the cream de la cream. Like for example this jawbreaker. or this interstellar bounce. Of course such a coral is not cheap to start with, but if you multiply them you get a higher yield. It behaves similarly to Acropora species. And as some of you already know, breeding saltwater fish is not that easy. So these two have some babies from the Banga catenal fish and I hope that they can grow them up for giving them away.
this tank here is only a few months old. Nevertheless, they want to compensate the high main trace costs that way. But does that work? Well, not directly. It takes a long time until the expenses are recovered by the frags. Besides, animals can die. Fina and René told me about corals that they waited for a long time and then they died after a few days, although the conditions were perfect. So in my opinion, corals are a very unsafe investment. Personally, I would only recommend the hobby if you do not have to limit your quality of life. If there is enough money left for such a reef tank, for example, it is more worthwhile than if you are dependent on it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe and otherwise see you next week.